Alan Wake 2, you can actually run this game on the portable Steam Deck. The process to get it to work is a bit tricky, but let's have a look. Have your Steam Deck completely shut down, hold the volume up and power button at the same time to go into the BIOS menu, go to Setup Utilities, Advance, and change the UMA frame buffer size to 256M. Hit the Select button to save and exit. Once the Steam Deck now turns on, you do need to switch to Desktop mode. And here, essentially, we're installing the Epic Games Launcher. It does make it easier if you connect a mouse and keyboard in Desktop mode, download the epic games installer and then we essentially need to add that to the steam library as a non-steam game that can be done in the steam app just make sure you click show all files here go to the downloads folder and then select the installer go into the properties and then make sure compatibility is set to proton experimental start that up and then just follow the on-screen instructions to install the epic games launcher so that was just an install file now we actually need to add the epic games games launcher to the steam library so go back to the same spot to add that in make sure that you are showing hidden files right here now finding the launcher it can be a little tricky there's a lot of folders you need to jump through but i'll get to the gist of it go to home steam 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 apps comp data and here there's so many folders that are just you know named by numbers sort by the date modified and i was able to find my launcher in the latest folder you kind of have to go through the folder just follow the path here that's listed on screen and you basically have to select the epic games launcher.exe add that to the library be sure to set compatibility to proton experimental now we can launch the epic games launcher login to your account one thing you should do here is go into the settings and make sure all notifications are turned off and then of course download and install alan wake 2 in the epic games launcher once the game is downloaded i can try launching it but it just won't start up next we need to go to the discovery app in desktop mode search for proton tricks install this app right here and then launch it make sure you have epic games launcher still open in the background and select that as the app here hit ok select the default win prefix and hit ok install a windows dll or component on this screen you do have to select three items d3 compiler 43 d3 compiler 47 and then scroll all the way to the bottom and select vc run 2022 follow the on-screen instructions to install those now at this point the game does launch but you can't actually play it because there's one more step to update to new graphic drivers here we can switch back to the game mode go to settings and in the system make sure you enable developer mode go all the way down here develop and and then there's an option here to enable show advanced update channels once you do enable that you can go back to system again and then change the os update channel to beta set the steam client channel to steam deck beta then go up to software updates and apply the update you might have to update a few times and then there might be a few restarts now once all that's done the game should work but i did run into another error i got this physical memory error it seems when i did the update that uma frame buffer size in the bios utility went back to 1g so i had to go back in and just change that back to 256m and now the game does work here's the settings i went with render resolution is in performance mode fsr2 is on vsync is on motion blur and film grain are turned off i do have a texture resolution set on high but everything else is on the lowest settings with that the game works i'm in i'm actually playing alan wake 2 on my steam deck now the performance here is fairly close to 30 fps it stays at 27 or 28 fps most of the time and it actually seems to be holding it 
pretty well at that level. Overall, the game is really blurry and it's significantly lower graphics than what you see on console PS5 or even a higher end gaming PC. But hey, at least the Steam Deck can run it. The minimum graphics card they recommend for this game is the NVIDIA 2060. So just the fact that it's playable on Steam Deck is pretty cool. Of course, getting it to run, as you saw, it's quite the process, quite a few steps to do. And just keep in mind, I also was getting crashes from time to time, so it's not that stable. But hey, we got Alan Wake 2 running on the Steam Deck. For the rest of the video, I have some more gameplay, so check that out. I see you're already hard at work, Anderson. Close to cracking it. We're just getting started. Let's head down the hill to the crime scene. Hey, Casey. You putting me in charge. Why now? Look, Anderson, you're a better detective than I am. You've cracked cases that have the rest of us baffled. I don't want to slow you down. Are you thinking of retiring? You know what happens to cops who say this is their last case. Mm -hmm. Real funny, Anderson. I'll be back in a second. Roger. Not a bad place to get murdered. Hmm. If getting back to nature is your thing. Damn. Should have brought an umbrella. I like the rain. The only thing around here that feels like home. You think the local law had the sense to put up a tarp? Hmm. If they did. Next coffee's on me. Hey! Deputy Thornton, I take it. That's me, at your service, ready to get this case solved. Now the body's behind the store. Come on, I'll show you. So, FBI, huh? That's so cool. Hunting down psycho serial killers and shootouts with the mob. You forgot the UFO cover-ups. I can't get that manuscript page out of my head. I've never seen killers reach out so directly before. Damn impressive work so far. With your technique, these hunches were moving fast. I wasn't sure about taking a case so far from home, but I'm thrilled to be here for this mystery.